Hello, welcome to the first episode of Radio Rambles. This is going to be a little series where I explore and overcome some shyness and mic fright and just get back into a hobby that I was really interested in a few years ago. If, like me, you took your um, foundation license during lockdown, you would probably be aware that there wasn't any practical aspect because we're all in lockdown. We couldn't really mix or couldn't go to any clubs. So that part was excluded from the exam. So I thought, ah, it'd be really easy to gain my foundation license and get my call sign and away I go. And it was. You studied for it. I studied for it. And I've got a video of, about some tips and tricks um, that I found useful. But once I had it, yeah, sort of got stuck and you sort of muddle along. You watch a lot of YouTube videos <laughs> like this one and um, yeah, it sort of fizzles out and you give up. But I, this year I want to really go for it again, um, sort of put my call sign to, to better use rather than just have it gathering dust. Um, so I thought as the first episode in the series, uh, we will talk about calling CQ on two meters. So both fangs at the ready. Uh, yep. Another thing that put me off is that everybody has an opinion on everything and that's fine. That is absolutely fine. But when you're bashing the new kid, it's not very good. It's not, it's not good. But yeah, I'm, a, I'm, I'm, I'm picking myself up, dusting myself down and we're going again. So both fangs at the ready. If you want to call CQ on two meters, um, the calling frequency is 145.500. Now, the way uh, I uh, uh, do it, and again, other people do it in a variety of ways, but similar, is that I first look for a free frequency, a, um, a clear frequency. So my preferred frequency uh, is 145.450. Uh, mainly because that's easier for me to say um, when I'm telling someone to try and move uh, onto it. So basically, you want to call the calling frequency, 145.500, make a contact, and then say, shall we move away and let's try .450 instead. So before you start calling CQ, um, I go to my preferred frequency, 145.450, and I just put a call out, uh, my call sign, uh, and then just literally, is this frequency clear, please? Because you never know, there might be people interacting on that frequency at the minute, and you just don't realise it um, at, that, at, the, at that time. Give, a, um, give it a minute. I put the call out a couple of times. Once you're happy, move back up to 145500, which I'm doing now, like so. There we go, 145500. And then we're ready to call CQ. So CQ is all about reaching out. And this is the bit that makes me nervous. For some reason, I'm fine talking to a camera like this, but for some reason, reaching out, calling CQ makes me nervous or did make me nervous. So yeah, the point of this series is to get over those fears, get over this mic shyness. So calling CQ then. So it starts with CQ, CQ, CQ. And again, people do it in a variety of ways, but it's mostly in a similar format. CQ, CQ, CQ. Give your call sign and then give your call sign again, but um, spelt phonetically. So mine is M7MCU, so it'll be Mike 7, Mike Charlie Uniform, calling CQ and listening or standing by. It's entirely up to you. I just say and standing by, listening, <laughs> sort of like the two mashed together. And a good tip that I was told, you want to sound quite exciting. You want someone to say, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll answer that. I will answer that. So no, none of this... CQ, 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 being really quiet. I was like that to start with, partly because I wanted to do it and pray that nobody answered. But you want to sound really upbeat about it. CQ, 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 um, calling CQ and listening. Give it a little while. 
try again. CQ, 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 and keep going. And it gets easier the more you say it. You get in a, it's more muscle memory. You get in a bit of a routine um, and it starts to roll. When you make the contact, now this is the difficult bit for me, remembering uh, the, the contacts call sign. My ears aren't tuned to pluck out uh, those letters and numbers really quick. I'm getting better, but at the minute it's not very good. So I have a notebook with me. Sometimes I have a friend with me who <laughs> I tell them to remember it and together we can cobble it together. But there's no uh, shame in asking them to repeat their call sign. If you've only got part of the call sign, tell them. Oh, um, I've only got uh, blah, blah, blah. Can you repeat your call sign, please? OK, once you've got the call sign, then advise them to move to that free frequency um, that uh, you previously checked. And there you go. That's how you call CQ. Another fear of mine was what to talk about and especially how to end a conversation. So once we've moved on to the free um, available frequency, we can start um, chatting, as it were. So I stick to a very, very basic format. Um, thank them for making that content. They took the effort to return your CQ call. OK, so a little thank you. Uh, my name's Jez and spell it phonetically as well. So you're introducing yourself. Um, <laughs> And after every point, I give my call sign and then I say back to you, back to you. So you hand it back to them. So now it's up to them to guide the conversation. Usually they're just repeating or um, giving you um, bits of information about um, their name, for example. Then it comes back to us. I am currently speaking to you from wherever in the country. You can be... Uh, um, quite specific because don't forget we're on two meters so um, the range isn't uh, isn't brilliant it's probably line of sight um, so they're probably local to you so just tell them I'm stood on x and y hill for example and you're coming across well this is where we give the signal report now, signal reports are interesting they're do, done in two parts okay and again Guys, don't bash the new kid. Signal reports are done in two parts. The first part is readability on a scale of one to five. And uh, the second part is signal, signal strength. And that is um, one to nine. OK, so a really good, clear uh, um, uh, contact with a strong signal. And, you're, and it's really clear for them to understand will be five and nine. OK, so. I am standing on X and Y hill and you're coming across five and nine really clearly. OK, simple, isn't it? And M7 MCU back to you. Uh, yeah. And then um, they will probably confirm this, confirm the same. OK, and it goes backwards and forwards. This is the bit I, I was a bit fearful of as well. You soon run out of things to say. So all you can do is once you've got that information, and you're at that point where you're sort of running out of things to say, just thank them again. Thank you for the contact. Much appreciated. Maybe it's the first one of the day. Let them know. Thank you for the contact per said call sign. You're, the, you're my first one of the day. Um, I look forward to um, um, chatting with you on here in future. 73s. Goodbye. And that's it. Just follow that pattern and you'll be absolutely fine. If I can do it, a shy and nervous, uh, um, recently qualified um, operator. If I can do it, anybody can. OK, and I hope over this series, um, we'll, uh, I, it, it, this series will force me to get out and and start calling CQ um, a little bit more. Uh, and hopefully each time it will get a little bit easier. But I want to put all the good things and the bad things. I'm going to make mistakes. Again, don't bash the new kid. I'm going to make mistakes.
but it's all part of the of the hobby learning this hobby and already now, uh, since uh, I've started to get back into it um, it's led me down all sorts of really interesting avenues it's just crazy where this can lead you but everything has to start somewhere and it's go and it's starting here calling CQ so do let me know if you've had similar problems to me and you have found ways to overcome it. And I hope you will subscribe and follow um, this series um, because, like I said, there's lots of interesting avenues that um, I have been exploring and it'd be great to document them on here as well. So join me and, uh, on this, on this uh, rediscovery of the amateur radio hobby. And uh, look forward to seeing you soon. 73s. Goodbye.